Hey, what's good, YouTube? Native Mask Collector back with another figure, Master of the Universe figure review. So today I got in my uh, mini comment version of Triclops, which was sold on the Mattel Creations website. They dropped it on the 13th, I think it was, of September. And... They kind of dropped that at the same time they did all those PowerCon exclusives. So I was lucky enough to get one of each of them. All the other ones are on back order, but they shipped this one. So again, I went through another video, I'll put it up on top of all the pictures and um, everything that uh, they show on the website. I kind of went through everything and what people are buying these things for right now. But uh, Terror Triclops. So they got like the mini comic, um, design on the front and then the fan boat winner badge and uh, picture on the back so they the, Mattel put out this voting thing I don't know if it was on their Facebook page or what but it was basically what figure do you guys want to see next we're gonna give it up to the fans and everybody picked the Triclops or most people picked this version we're gonna take a look at it and wow that looks so awesome so this looks really 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 cool and uh i'm opening this thing up so because you know why oh glow in the dark warrior's ring so let's open this bad boy up and check it out first of all let's take a look at the the card stock and everything so fan bolt winner new for 2021 glow in the dark warriors ring comes with it which you know came with um a triclops random ones i think back in the 80s uh trap jaw came with this ring too in the 80s that's what i remember most um he definitely he has his own comic which is super cool hopefully it's the full comic reprint and the back art is amazing That's super super cool uh, I hate to open it up but I'm doing it anyways so let's check this uh, out so you guys can see it too I know a lot of people keep the stuff in the package or whatever, but you know what? Kind of got to the point where having these things in the package makes me sad to a certain extent. So let's take a look at the ring first because that's the, what I was looking forward to. Now here's what I've also found. They said it's for adult sizes, but I really, I could pinky ring this bad boy. So let's, uh, open it up. So when you open it up, if you get really, if you can get it really, really close into there, it's using the exact same mold that the Master of the Universe Classics line did because you can see it says Classics on the bottom there. So Master of the Universe Classics. Hopefully we can pick it up. So, uh, yeah, this is neat. Probably needs to get charged up pretty, pretty, pretty significantly to, to glow. 
see if I can get that to glow. So these were $17. If you could get a hold of one, retail. Uh, people are now selling them from between like 80 to $100, if not more, when they first came out. People sold their pre-orders and stuff. I can't believe people were paying them like $150 for these things. Um, Let's take a look at this comic. The Terror of Triclops. 1982, printed in the US. Oh my God, this is awesome. I just want all the mini comic versions to come out for every character and have the original comic books with them because that would just be awesome be able to grab all these comics again. I mean, I had all of these. I wish I had still had them. It's amazing what you don't think about when you're a kid. Just throw stuff away. And I remember having all of these. So awesome. That's awesome. That'll bring back some memories. But that's exactly why I still collect this stuff. Specifically because of that. Okay, so here we go. Here is, uh, you know what? I didn't get a, does he not come with a sword? I didn't get a sword. Oh, that's a bummer. Wonder what happened there. Unless he just doesn't come with one. But I thought for sure he it was on the pictures. Got the ring. Yeah, he's supposed to come with a, a sword. Weird. So I might have to email Mattel and just say, uh, yeah, I didn't get the uh, I didn't get my sword. I didn't drop it anywhere. No, oh, that's a bummer. So doesn't have a sword, but here we go. Um, so he's got the obviously the mini comic colors, the light green, the red. Um, let's see if we can get a closer look at. Um, so here's the comic. There's a good picture on the back of him. He doesn't have like the bandolier with the sword holder. I don't know why he has it on him. It doesn't come with a sword. But um, colors look pretty pretty good. So um, you can take his armor off. If you wanted to. But um, so same articulation as all the other origin figures. He's got his shoulders moved, his elbows, his hands. Um, you know, his hips, knees, shin, foot. Well, good thing I taped this because, uh, I didn't even know I didn't even have a sword in there. You don't really notice that unless you really open these things up because the sword is usually buried behind them and I'm piece of plastic wrapped up or something like that. 
Um, so he's got a green eye, and then it goes blue, he's getting a little pissed off. And then when he gets extremely angry, he's got that red eye on there. Um, again, based on what we know from the original version from 1982, he did not have any type of teeth showing. Um, he just had his regular um, mouth. So here's the uh, my original one. He went from blue to red to really dark red was the original character. And obviously the, the armor's different. Um, but yeah, when you look at his face, he's not smiling at all. This one here, he's he's got that grinding teeth look. Um, obviously totally different color. Um, skin tone wise, he's definitely darker brown tan over here. Um, awesome boots though. Look at those bad boys. These are good for, uh, you know, remember you can remove all this stuff too. So as far as articulation or customization of other characters, whatever you want to do. Um, he does have the painted wristbands all the way around, green. And unlike the original version, um, this one here has that guard, side guard, or forearm guard, instead of, and then does not go all the way around. But these do not have the twisting punch. Um, his hair definitely has a little bit more flap to it coming out the back compared to the original which doesn't have much at all but uh, otherwise uh, super cool figure you know less the sword not having that around but um, I'll email Mattel and you know I'll even say you know check out my video and and uh, they can take a look at it and see that it wasn't in there so um, awesome so yep really cool i'm um, super happy about getting the warriors ring back in my possession again <laughs> it's been so long since i've had one of these and then uh, the comic really pleased me having the full actual comic again this is really neat um good job mattel for doing that because i was really bummed when the you know yet the ones that come now with the origins figures are okay but it's not the uh you know i'm surprised they just didn't print new runs of these because these are great Love it. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna see if I can charge this bad boy up and show you it going in the dark. Look at that. All right, thanks a lot everybody for checking out the video. I uh, really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you have not yet. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about this figure, if you guys were able to pick one up or not. And also uh, hit that bell for notifications and we'll see you in the next one. Later.